One, two, three, slowly. We lifted the top off so we could actually get a better idea of what the condition is before we start treatment on the mummy itself. This is the mummy of a 14-year-old boy. Um, we think it dates to about uh, two and a half thousand years ago, so uh, a little over 500 BC. We know from the coffin that his name was Minerdis. He was the son of Inaros, who was a fairly important priest of a god called Min in central Egypt. People think mummies are kind of uh, big and brutal and, and tough, but they're actually really, really fragile. Somebody stood the mummy up on end. Um, what happened then was that the um, legs broke off at the knees and then the um, feet broke off at the ankles and rotated sideways. So it's, that's the majority of the damage I think that we're seeing here. The mummy slid all the way down the coffin. The story that everybody knows about mummies is that they take your brain out through the nose, they take your organs out, they put them in canopic jars and they put the jars with the mummy. Um, what happens in this later period, and this is one of the more interesting things that one starts to learn, is that the organs were taken out, preserved, wrapped into packets, and then put back in either into the abdominal cavity or into the um, chest cavity or between the legs. And I think opening up this coffin is giving us a whole host of new information which we'll be able to use to better interpret um, the lifestyle in late period Egypt.